All right, we are live. Welcome back to the New York Fit Reset Program. My name is Adriana Lee with New York Fit. I'm a yoga teacher, Pilates instructor, and yoga teacher trainer. And today I'll be guiding you through a quick yoga flow to work towards the splits. So the goal is not necessarily to do the splits today, especially if you've never done them before, uh, but we'll be stretching the muscles and strengthening muscles involved um, in order to be able to maybe someday do those splits. <laughs> so for today's practice, no props are technically required. A yoga mat is always recommended. Um, and if your knees are sensitive, I always think having a blanket or a folded towel or just something to cushion your knees with is a good idea. If you happen to have a couple of yoga blocks, grab those. You don't need them, but it will make some of the poses a little bit more accessible. So never a bad idea to have. So once you've got your props together, maybe throw in some music and we'll get started. I'm gonna give people just like another few seconds to get settled in. Um, and if you are ready to go, go ahead and get into a comfortable cross-legged seat. If your hips are a little bit tight, maybe sit on top of that blanket or one of those yoga blocks so that your hips can be higher than your knees. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and start. And if you're still logging in, just grab your props and get seated whenever you are ready. All right. So find that comfortable seat and then either let your palms rest facing down on your knees for grounding or up, symbolic of receiving, and then close your eyes. Take a moment to get settled in your hips. And then take a deep breath into your belly. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders. Do that again, deep breath into your chest and upper back. Exhale, maybe this time out through the mouth, allowing your jaw to relax as you breathe out. And seal the lips, switch your inhale and exhale through to the nose. And take this time to get grounded and centered and to let go of whatever's gone on in your day so far. Allow yourself to be present here and now, just you and your body. And then place your hands together at heart center and set an intention for yourself. Maybe your intention is to go easy on yourself today or to take breaks whenever you need or to push yourself a little. Whatever intention resonates with you, seal that in. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms out and up, offering your intention out. And exhale, draw the hands back down to your heart, bringing that intention back to you, back to the heart where it matters. And then release your hands to the mat and we'll make our way into a tabletop position for cat-cow. So spread your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. As you inhale, drop your belly towards the mat, reach your chest forward and gaze up. Then exhale, round out your spine, press down through the tops of your feet, draw your belly button in. Two more like that. Inhale, drop the belly, chest forward, slide your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Exhale, round out your spine and root through your hands and feet. One more. Inhale, drop the belly, maybe gradually going a tiny bit deeper into the back bend. And exhale, round out your spine. Now come back into a neutral tabletop, send your right leg straight back behind you and your left arm forward and we'll go into some tiger taps. So when you're ready, right leg lifts to the height of your hip, bend your knee, reach your left arm up, inhale and as you exhale, sweep the left arm in a semicircle back to reach towards your toes. Then inhale, extend everything out, arm and leg, exhale, bend and tap. Two more, inhale, reach, exhale, tap. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Good. Release your hand and knee down and switch sides. Left leg reaches back, right arm forward. Lift everything to the height of your spine. And then when you're ready, bend your left knee and reach your right hand back to tap your toes. Inhale everything out. Exhale, bend and tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Awesome, release everything back down, curl your toes under and lift into a downward facing dog. This first one you might choose to keep your knees really bent, especially if your hamstrings are a little bit tight. 
Walk your feet to hip width apart or maybe even a little wider if that feels more spacious in your lower back. Take a breath here. And exhale, root down through your hands. And then slowly walk your feet towards the top of your mat, just behind your hands, keeping your feet hip width distance apart or a little bit wider if you'd like. Now bend your knees a lot, so much that your belly can lay on your thighs. Grab opposite elbows for ragdoll. Let your head hang heavy. And take slow, deep breaths. Now as long as your belly is connected to your thighs, you might be able to straighten your legs, not all the way, but maybe a centimeter or two centimeters. Let your head hang and let the weight of your arms decompress your lower back. And then release your hands down to the mat. Heel toe your feet together, or if your low back is sensitive, keep them hip width distance apart. Then bend your knees and come into chair pose. Lift your arms up. Inhale here. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins, elongate your spine. Exhale, lower your hands to the mat, step back into a plank. Set your knees down, then lower chest and belly all the way down to the ground at the same time. Inhale into cobra, pull your ribs forward and up. Exhale into down dog. Send your hips up and back. Then step your right foot between your hands, lower your left knee down. Option to place a blanket underneath your knee if you'd like. Now from here, you're gonna lower your hands back to the ground if you lifted them up. As you inhale, shift your hips forward so that you feel a stretch in the front of your left hip. And as you exhale, straighten or partially straighten your right leg. No worries if it doesn't go all the way straight, you can keep it a little bent. Inhale, hips forward. And exhale, hips back, straighten the right leg. One more here, inhale forward. Exhale back. And then inhale forward, re-bend your knee, ground your palms, curl the back toes under, step to plank, knees down and lower to your belly. Option to walk your hands a little forward of your shoulders to get a, a better grip for a cobra. As you inhale, pull your ribs forward and up. Imagine you're pulling yourself out of a pool. Then exhale, pull your ribs forward and down. Hands back under the shoulders if you walk them forward and lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Step your left foot between your hands, come back into that lunge with the right knee down or possibly on a blanket. And then as you inhale, drop your hips forward. And as you exhale, press your hips back. Now this is a place where blocks can definitely come in handy. So they create some space for you. Inhale, hips forward. Exhale, hips back. Just a little bit easier when you can elevate your hands. One more here, inhale, hips forward. And exhale, hips back. And then re-bend your left knee, step back into plank. Curl the right toes under, left foot comes back to meet right, and lower to your belly. Inhale into cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, pull your ribs forward and down, and come back into down dog. Now just one breath in down dog, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. And walk your feet back to the top of the mat. Inhale, come up to a flat back, elongate your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Now it will stay here. So if folding forward is difficult or uncomfortable, again, you can always keep your knees super bent. Another option if you do have blocks is to stay up a little bit higher on those blocks to take some of it out of your hamstrings. And just one more breath in your fold. On your next inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms up, chair pose. And exhale back into your forward fold. From here, separate your feet hip width distance apart if they were together. Take your peace fingers, your index and middle finger around your big toes. Inhale, reach your chest forward. And then exhale, pull your belly to spine as you fold forward. Inhale here. Exhale, relax your neck, let your head drop. And one more breath. Inhale, elongate your spine, release your hands from the big toes, hands to shins. 
and exhale, ground your palms, step back into plank. Now this time you have two options. You can either repeat lower to the belly first and then take cobra, or if you have a solid chaturanga in your practice, use your toes to shift your shoulders forward past your wrists, bend your elbows so you're only coming halfway down, flip your feet and lift your chest with your thighs off the mat into upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. You always have the option to choose either chaturanga to up dog or lowering to the belly and taking cobra. Right foot between your hands, lower your left knee down and same thing. As you inhale, hips come forward and exhale, press your hips back. Inhale, hips forward. Exhale, come into that half split. One more time here, inhale. Exhale, half split. And now this time, inhale, bring your hips forward. And if you don't have a blanket under your knee, you definitely might want one for this next pose. So start to lift your chest. We're coming into King Arthur's lunge. So you can keep your right forearm on your right thigh for a little bit of support. Let your hips come forward and then bend your left knee. Reach back with your left hand and pull your heel in towards your glute. Inhale, lift up your chest. Exhale, ease your hips forward. So if there's pain in your kneecap, so one of the ways to take the weight out of that is to place a block in front of your thigh so that you can lay the weight into the thigh, into your quads instead of the kneecap. If it's painful, you can also just keep your foot down. Let's do one more breath here, inhale. And exhale to release. You can move your props out of the way and then lower both hands down on the inside of your right foot. You can heel toe your right foot out a bit wider for lizard lunge. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let your hips drop down towards the mat. Now inhale into your hips. And exhale, squeeze your right inner thigh in against your shoulder. Option to stay on your hands or lower your right forearm down first, followed by the left. So one of the things that we don't think about too much in splits is the fact that your inner thighs actually have to engage a lot to keep your pelvis in a neutral position. So lizard lunge, squeezing the knee in against your shoulder helps to strengthen your inner thighs so that by the time you get to splits, you're able to keep that neutral hip position. One last breath here. If you're on your forearms, come back up onto your hands. If you had a blanket under your knee, move that to the side. Right foot steps back to meet left and come all the way down to your belly. And then lift up onto your elbows, stacking your elbows right underneath your shoulders into a sphinx pose position. As you inhale, pull your chest forward, then take your left arm across at a diagonal, bend your right knee and reach back with the right hand for the top of the right foot. Pull your heel down towards your glute. Inhale here, exhale, squeeze your heel down towards your glute and at the same time push your right hip bone into the ground to intensify and release. Lower both hands back under your shoulders and push back into down dog. From down dog, step your left foot between your hands, lower your right knee down and we'll come back into that lunge to half split flow. So inhale, hips forward, and exhale, hips back, straighten out your left leg. Inhale, hips forward. Exhale, hips back, straighten the leg. One more, inhale, lunge. Exhale, half split. Then, if you used a blanket on the other side, go ahead and add that blanket. Lift up into your lunge, and we'll move into King Arthur lunge. So left forearm supports the left thigh. Reach back, bend your right knee, grab onto the top of the foot and squeeze your heel in towards your glute. Inhale to lift up your chest and exhale, allow the hips to sink forward. Again, if there's discomfort on this knee, either release the knee down or add a little bit of support like a block um, in front of the thigh so you can lean weight onto the thigh rather than the kneecap. All right, go ahead and release the foot down. Lower your hands down to the inside of your left foot and walk your left foot out to the side. You can also walk your right knee back to deepen the stretch. So either stay here or when you're ready, lower your left forearm down, followed by the right. Inhale into your hips. Exhale, squeeze your left knee in towards your left shoulder. Inhale into your low belly. 
Exhale, drop your hips down, but at the same time, avoid rounding through the upper back. And one more breath here. And walk your hands under your shoulders. Move the blanket under your knee if you had a blanket there. Step to plank, then lower all the way down to your belly. We'll come back into Sphinx Pose, so elbows under your shoulders. And then this time, cross your right arm at a diagonal. Bend your left knee and reach your left hand to the top of your left foot. Pull your heel towards your glute. And at the same time, press your hip points down into the ground to intensify the stretch. Deep breath in. And exhale, release your foot back down. Lower your chest down and then come all the way back into down dog. Now step your right foot between your hands, lower your left knee down. Option to grab your blocks if you have them and extend your right leg to straight for half split. So this time we'll hold our half split. As you inhale, reach your chest towards your toes. And as you exhale, start to fold forward. Now if you have blocks and you feel like you could go down to a lower level, go for it. Or even remove the blocks if they don't feel like they're helping at this point. Inhale, chest reaches forward. Exhale, maybe deep in your fold by half a centimeter. Now we'll start to activate the back of the right leg. So push down through your right heel and at the same time, energetically pull your thigh bone back into the hip socket. So without moving anything, it's like you're isometrically contracting and getting your hamstrings to turn on while they're stretching. One more breath here. Exhale, push the heel down and pull back. And then when you're ready, we're coming straight back into down dog. Right foot comes back to meet left. And left foot forward, half split. Lower your right knee down. Option to grab your blocks or not. Extend your left leg, keeping your hips over your back knee. And then when you're ready, inhale, chest forward. Exhale, fold forward. Option to lower your blocks down a bit or remove them if they're no longer helpful. And then we'll add on. So start to press down through your heel and at the same time, energetically pull the thigh bone back. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, maybe fold another half a centimeter, push down through the heel, pull the thigh bone back. It should feel like the back of your leg is active even though it's in a stretch position. And then release, re-bend your left knee and come straight back into down dog. Now right foot forward. This time, maybe going a little bit lower into our splits. So start out first in that half split. And then if it feels manageable for you today, maybe start to slide the foot further forward. And just go to whatever point feels good. This is why blocks are great because you can work a little bit higher and keep your chest lifted. However, if you don't have blocks today, no worries. Just keep working at whatever level you're at. So maybe slowly you can drop down lower. If you find that your hips are really close to the ground, place something underneath your sit bone, your right sit bone. Maybe a block, maybe just your folded blanket. And then if you are using a prop underneath the sit bone, as you inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, push down into the block and do that same activation by pushing the heel down, pulling the thigh bone back, and then gradually your body might warm up enough to be able to go into full splits. This is not a goal. <laughs> it's not going to make you a better person. But if you happen to get it today, cool. And if you don't, no worries. All right, one more breath here. And then when you're ready, ease your way out of that. Step straight back into down dog. And let's go for the other side. Left foot forward, lower your right knee down. Grab your blocks if you'd like and start out in that half split first. So left leg extends and maybe this is exactly where you stay today. It's a great place to be. If you feel like you're warmed up enough, maybe the left foot slides a little forward. Maybe use blocks under your hands to keep yourself lifted. Maybe you do the block on the tallest setting or the medium setting or whatever works for your body today. Eventually going to your lowest possible split. And again, if you're on the block, remember to press down 
and use your front heel, pushing down into the front heel, energetically pulling the thigh bone back to warm your body up even further into it. Maybe you get rid of your blocks, who knows? And let's do one more breath here. When you're ready to come out, take your time, press back into down dog. And just one breath in down dog. After you exhale, release your knees down, cross your ankles and lay all the way down onto your back. Move your props out of your way and then lie down when you're ready and we'll go into a supine twist. Draw your knees into your chest and drop both of your knees over to the right. Stack your ankles, knees, and hips at a 90 degree angle with the knees at the height of your belly button. Then reach your left arm overhead with your palm facing down and rotate your chest open towards the ceiling. If your shoulder blade with your hips exactly as they are, if your shoulder blade easily touches the ground, go ahead and extend your left arm out to the side. That's a really deep rotation though. So if you don't have that much rotation available right now, just keep the arm over your head so your shoulder is protected. Last breath in your twist. And then unwind from your twist. Squeeze your knees back into your chest for a moment. Give yourself a little hug. And then release both of your knees over to the left. Stack your ankles, knees, and hips with the knees at the height of your belly button and reach your right arm overhead. Inhale here. And exhale, rotate your chest open towards the ceiling. And again, if your shoulder blade touches the ground, you can extend it out to the side. If not, don't worry about it. Just keep supporting your shoulder by keeping the arm overhead. One more breath. Unwind from your twist. Squeeze your knees back into your chest one last time. And if there's any final movements that would feel really good, give yourself a breath in those movements. And then eventually end in your final Shavasana. With your legs extended, arms relaxed by your sides. Those with low back sensitivity might prefer to keep the knees bent and let the knees fall in against each other. It might feel better on the low back. Use the next two breaths to get really comfortable. Maybe you adjust your shoulder blades under or make more space in your, lo your low back by tucking the tailbone under. And then remind yourself of that intention that you set. Whether it was to go easy on yourself or to not give up or whatever you set for you. And decide to carry that intention with you for the rest of your day. And if you're able to stay here for longer, please do. Otherwise, start to wiggle your fingers and toes and gently roll your head side to side. Take a huge inhale and reach your arms over your head. And as you exhale, roll to one side, making your way into fetal position. And slowly press yourself all the way back up to a comfortable cross-legged seat. Place your hands together at your heart once you arrive, sealing in your practice. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. The light within me honors, respects, and loves the light within you. Namaste. All right. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. My name again is Adriana Lee with New York Fit, and I do hope to see you on the mat again soon. Drop a comment and let me know how you like today's class, and I'll see you soon. Bye.